I'll be eating top ramen for a month after this. Come back Sacramento, let's do it. Once in a lifetime, you have to do it. I have waited 16 years for the moment you're about to see. I can buy Kings playoff tickets today. We haven't made the playoffs in 16 years. Our fans have waited a long time for this. If I want to sit courtside at game one because I'm this big baller, I'm not. $5,999, $6,000 basically. My ideal seats, and I have my, look at this, these are locked, but look, if I want to grab like a reseller ticket, look at these, $877 for row M. I used to buy that ticket for $45 to $60 at one point in my life. I'm trying to buy Kings playoff tickets. We're gonna see what we can do. My friend Al, who will be on the phone, is going to try to buy my seats for me because he is a season ticket member. If you're a Kings fan, you just trust me, you know. We waited a long time for this thing, you know, and we 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 were here in 06 and 07 versus Spurs, which, you know, Brent Barry was hitting a corner three, we had Kevin Martin on the Kings, and then if you remember further back, Mike Bibby, Vlade, Peja, Chris Weber, Gerald Wallace, Bobby Jackson, Rick Adelman, the coach, Hito Turkoglu, the list goes on. And, in, and even in the 06, 07 team, we had Ron Artest. I mean, we just, it was crazy what the Kings put together. And our fans, you know, we've drafted a handful of people and, you know, it hasn't always worked out. And I got to tell you, as a Kings fan, this is a long time overdue, 16 years in the making. So for us to make playoffs, I'm trying to get my playoff tickets. I'm in LA right now. I really want to go back to Sacramento. My plan, hopefully, this is what I'm manifesting. I want to go to Sacramento for you know that week. I want to go to game one, game two. Then I want to fly to Toronto for the Global Expo. That's so that we're just manifesting that. Shout out to Mikey, Mikey Singer from Toronto. Just some updates. We got Masters Week here. So you got a little DJ. And then check this out. This is pretty cool. I picked this up a while ago and I think I've shown it in my videos for grading, but I didn't send it out because the auto looked a little eh on the right side. So I was gonna grade the auto as well, but now I have to refocus and see what I'm gonna do with this. But it's a Mark Cuban out of 25. Boom, one of my favorite products. Look at this, I got a camera's gotta do it justice. Jason Tatum, BGS 11, I'm just kidding. 9.5 with a 10. Right there, 9.5 in the 10, 1718 Revolutions Auto, so pretty cool right here. I love Revolution because you're not guaranteed an autograph, and I just love the on-card auto. You can't beat an on-card auto, guys, I'm telling you right now, and it's a rookie. You can tell the difference in his autograph. His autograph has become like a J and an O. I like to think about post-LeBron James, like, what does post-LeBron James basketball look like? We've got Giannis and Curry, who could easily you know, be the next guys. But who is three, four, and five on that list? After LeBron James, who takes over the NBA? Going to game one, I'm gonna try. Oh God, I hope we get these tickets. If anybody in the comments, do you relate to my experience with waiting 16 to 17 years for your team to be relevant and good again? Because to me, if you're a Sacramento Kings fan, you understand what the team means to us. If you're not a Kings fan, this is our team, it's our city, it brings life to our city, we're known for it. You know, nobody is as loud and as pumped up as Kings fans. So if you relate, I wanna know who the team is, what year, what were the players, tell me your story. Bro, there's a freaking waiting room. Al just texted me, he said, yep, don't worry. And I said, I'm nervous. It's like the cards, you know, when you go show, like I didn't really do this, but when I did do it, it counted. I'm like showing up to Walmart waiting for the retail. I did it for 2020 Mosaic. That was the only time I did it. Oh my God, I'm nervous. Out of scale one to 10, 10. I've less than a minute left. It's 12, it's 12, give me the tickets. What in the world? This is a hell of a process. Boom, well, grab the best and closest seats for me in game one and two. I'm waiting for him to call me. Dude, look at this. If you don't have season tickets, you're done. 336, 306, it's not working. He says there's two people in front of him. Oh, I gotta take the call. Yo, what up? Players for two seats. You got them? Is that what you want? I mean, how close are they? Grab the closest seats. Triple B. Okay. Done. We got it? Yeah. Yes, you're the man. I'm going to the playoffs. <sighs> Gonna enjoy the game, game one. Uh, game two, I could sit in the upper level. Game one, I have to be there. When your team makes it for the first time in 16 years, I mean, I was 11, I was 11 years old. I wasn't even collecting cards or autographs the last time the Kings were playing in the playoffs. Think about that. I just love this team so much. If you're a Kings fan, you know how much this means to someone like me, or if you're a part of that community in Sacramento. Priority package, let's get into this. If you want a free sticker, this gentleman's gonna be our example. 
Here's the address. Here's my PO box in LA officially. Inside this, just put an envelope and literally just put one stamp on the envelope and put it inside the envelope and I'll send you a signed sticker. Jay, it's me, Tristan. I have one question for you. Can you and me become friends? Because I like you a lot. I lost family and friends. From your biggest fan, Tristan, here is my information. Shout out to Tristan in Canada. I'm sure people that own shops have experienced this for the last 10 years, 20 years. People come in with 90s cards and, and what do you say to someone when they come to you with 90s cards? I always wanted to know. What do you say to the person that, that doesn't know about the hobby? This is a trick, by the way. I think what we should say is, hey man, those are not worth anything, but here's what I do and here's what I collect. I've seen shop owners, I've witnessed this firsthand and I, I absolutely can't stand it when they do this. They like laugh at the person with the 90s stuff and they kind of put them down i i'm telling you right now especially if you're a card shop owner and you're watching this if someone comes in with 90s cards one educate them two help them three let's bring them in the hobby why would you could turn away a potential customer i've watched it happen in the last 14 years of collecting i've seen it happen at least 20 times where the shop owners are absolutely out of line and i think that's ridiculous if someone comes to your booth at a card show with this 90s stuff, you know, I'm fanning through and I already know, I could tell you right now, the value isn't there for a card shop to buy this kind of stuff. For sure, that's fine. But let's be real with those people. You can't just say, oh, you know, hey, those are worth nothing, ha ha ha, like, you know, blah, blah. Just tell them, hey, 90s cards were, it's simple as this. Hey guys, 90s cards were overproduced and they're not worth much now, but here's what people are buying now. 1960s tops, 1950s tops and educate them and then that you know to me that brings in you know some inv invitation into the hobby we want people in the hobby you know everyone always says oh we need to you know we need to put the hobby on television we need to put the hobby in baseball stadiums that's great but i think when people are coming straight to the source let's bring the people in that are that are coming in that are brand new how can we bring them back in and i think you got to be inviting to the hobby we've got to be more inviting in my mind i never comment on it you know, I talk about innocent bystander. I've never publicly, but if I saw it now, I think I would take that person from outside and say, hey, like, uh, let, let me, let's go to coffee. Like, let me tell you about the hobby. But that's also, I'm in a different role. I understand shops have to make money and time is money, but there's a way to handle things. And if you're a shop owner and you're watching this and, and someone comes with 90s cards, just educate them, man. That could be your next customer. Like, I don't know, man. I can't wait to own a shop one day. It'll be good. It'll be educational. Hey, Jay. I uh, love watching your show a lot. I'm giving you this card. My hobby co is collecting cards or a box. My brother and my cousins and friends give me cards. Thank you. All right. Shout out to Junior. Jeffrey Gunter Auto and DeMarcus Cousins. This is called Free Stuff. Basically, when you guys want a sticker, I'm basically going to try to include cards in it now. Like, uh, like, I don't know. These are first Bowmans. You know, stuff like this. I might throw in a card. There's some parallels in here. So basically in this, like if you guys are wanting a signed sticker, it's not gonna cost me anything. I'm gonna throw in like an extra. I don't really want cards hanging out and if I can't use them, pay it forward, you know, send it to somebody else. That's kind of what I'm trying to do, so. Oh boy. All right, this is something else. Ha! This is actually, <laughs> these are actually recovery chips. I gotta give these out to some, I gotta give these out to people. Got two more packages to open. I'm in my De'Aaron Fox jersey right now. Let's get into these bad boys. Kings, man, what a team, what a city, what a life. All right, here we go. Jackson, I got you, bro. All right, here we go. Mojo, I'm a big fan of you, and you are the one of the main reasons that I collect cards. When I was younger, I liked to often open packs, stop collecting, then got back into it last year. I'm a big New York Giants fan and a PC Saquon Barkley. If you could send me some and some stickers too. Thank you, Mojo, hope to hear back. That's love, bro. I'll see what kind of giants. There are, I think I have Eli Manning cards in there, so I'll see what I can do there. I got you. And then let's see what we got here. Some PC, PC love right here. See Tim Brown on the front. I, I gotta tell you guys, man, I'm I'm done with the Raiders personally, but I mean, I'll, I'll collect the old school, but I'm following Derek Carr. I'm not a Saints fan, but I appreciate this, man. Tim Brown. My problem with the Raiders, man, is just like, I just don't like what they did with Derek Carr, to be honest with you, but it is what it is. I still, I have so much respect for this guy, Derek Carr Green. And then this is sick, the Tops rookie. So I'll try to get that signed. He usually goes to Tahoe every year. Pretty cool right there, I appreciate that. I gotta find a new NFL team. If you guys could pick my NFL team, who is it gonna be? I'm, I'm gonna listen to people. Obviously where Rodgers goes is important. 
and Brady retired, which is one of the guys I really followed, but I need to find a new NFL team. So if we can, if you guys wanna pull some strings, sell me on your NFL team. This says Minnesota Card Show on it. If anybody's in Minnesota, there's a Minnesota Card Show, by the way. I just don't wanna mess this up. Is this a cordial invite? Man, if you want me to come to your card show, start sending an invite through the mail. That's a good way to do it. A month, a couple months before. I, I like that, it's a new new idea. You did send an invite. Oh, what a plug. This is so smart. Like marketing, if you're into marketing, this is genius. I will not make it, but my Minnesota people watching this, shout out to Mini Graphs 99 and TC Graphs. I, I think, I don't know if he's still around, but those are the Minnesota people I know. Minnesota card show. Look at that. I'm at 80% chance I'm going to Toronto. So if you're from Canada and you're watching this, come to the Toronto Global Expo. If you're in Minnesota, April 20th through the 23rd. You know what, guys? I'm down to tell you if I won't, if even I'm not going to this show, I'll plug this show. You know, people probably, you know, could go to this. Minnesota card show, April 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd. I saw Next Gem. I met those guys. Black Diamond Supplies, Cardboard Vault. The cardboard bros, those guys are all great. They have a they have a show. It's Triple Diamond Sports. It's powered by Triple Car Diamond Sports Cards and Collectibles. Trade nights April twenty. So it's April twentieth, twenty first, twenty second, and twenty third at the Hyatt Regency in Minneapolis. So if you're in Minnesota, shameless plug. I'm cool with that. You know, I'll tell you I'm not going to that show, but you could go. Like I did that with Utah with Bill Grass and those guys. The Utah boys. When I go to a show, it's it's just it has to make sense and and travel and everything else and and scheduling. So this is for you guys. So Minnesota people or any of those people out there, go to that show. Um, and if you're in Toronto, I'm probably gonna go to the Toronto Expo. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you're a Sacramento Kings fan, all I gotta say is light the beam. What a blessing we have with our team. We're gonna be playing the Warriors. It's gonna be a hard, hard battle, but I'm excited to go watch. Drop a like, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And also guys, Use my code for the Whatnot. Whatnot is one of my favorite places to buy and sell sports cards starting at $1. I auction cards like this at a dollar on there. And we also do breaks on there. And I did that 24 hour stream, which is a freaking blast. I'm glad you guys were a part of that. So use my Whatnot link. I'm on there once a week. I should be on there. I'll probably go live sometime uh, while I'm in Sacramento to unload some memorabilia. So you guys gotta check that link down below. Make sure you follow it. Also use my Zion case code, Mojo10. Use that link and Mojo10 and you'll get your 10% off. Love this community, love what you guys are um, putting out there in our comment section, I appreciate it, it's all good vibes, and I uh, can't wait to see you guys for the next video. Peace.